My wife and I, my wife Martina and I, used to throw New Year's Eve parties every year back in our hometown of Buenos Aires, Argentina. We would first invite some of our close friends for dinner, and then after midnight, other friends and friends of friends would come to party. And the mix of all those people, plus some amazing drugs and a lot of drinking, <laughs> made the parties pretty successful, and they lasted until the next morning. All up until New Year's Eve 2011, when one of my coworkers came with her brother-in-law, whose name I can't remember, but I will just call number two. <laughs> Around 2 a.m., we were all dancing in the living room of our tiny apartment, and we start to smell deodorant. And because everyone is so high, everyone just starts going, hey, man, your apartment smells amazing. <laughs> yeah, man, it smells really good in here. But I know what that smell is. It's my wife's aerosol deodorant. But why are we smelling it in the living room? As I'm thinking this, my wife comes over and says, yeah, didn't you hear? Someone just emptied my whole deodorant in the bathroom. They just went, So we all stare at the bathroom door, waiting to see who is <laughs> in there and what happened. And when the door opens, number two, the person, walks out. And because we are all so high, when we make eye contact with him, we feel really paranoid, like we did something, and we all panic and just walk away. <laughs> Some minutes later, I'm out on the balcony, smoking. And number two comes out to talk to me. He looks really drunk, and he clearly did a lot of drugs. He goes, hey, man, I just ruined your bathroom. I'm so sorry. He looks very ashamed. But I'm a good host, and I want everyone to have a good time. Besides, I totally get what he's feeling. That also happens to me sometimes, but not when I drink or I do too much drugs, no. It happens to me when I eat burritos. <laughs> when a burrito enters my body, it starts to race at full speed between my mouth and my asshole <laughs> that can only be compared to Usain Bolt hearing the starting gun, then beating the world record, and then finally exploding as it crosses the finish line. Don't worry, man. These things happen, I say to number two. Are you having a good time? Can I do anything for you? And he's like, no, no, okay, I'm okay. Don't worry, thanks. <laughs> the thing is that the smell of deodorant doesn't last very long in the air. So after a few minutes, the smell of number two, not the person, starts to invade the living room of our tiny apartment. And the same people who are praising me for the smell of my apartment are now telling me, hey man, it smells like shit here. <laughs> I don't want anyone to feel grossed out and leave my party, but I also don't want number two to feel bad, so I quickly go to the bathroom and I do the most obvious thing you can do. In these cases, I light a match. But it doesn't work. <laughs> the smell keeps getting worse. I try some essential oils, but again, it doesn't work, and the smell keeps getting worse and worse. Desperate, I throw some bleach in the toilet, and I flush a couple of times, but it still doesn't work, and the smell has a life of its own, and I'm losing my mind. <laughs> what is going on here? The last thing that I try is some incense. Nothing beats incense. I don't know if you have any friends who are hippies. You, you know, the strength of incense is, is just, this. I'm not a hippie, I could never be, I, I shower and I have a job. 
But I'm very close to, you know, some hippies that bring incense to my house. So I light some incense in the bathroom. But even that doesn't work. And by now it's too late. And everyone is so grossed out that they leave my party. And even number two pulled an Irish goodbye on me that night. That piece of shit. <laughs> my wife and I then decide to go to bed and clean up the apartment the next morning. The only thing we're going to do that night is clean the bathroom. We can't go to bed with that smell. So I get some cleaning products and I start scrubbing the inside of the toilet and it still doesn't work. The smell keeps getting worse. It's horrible. What is going on? In my desperation, I start scrubbing the outside of the toilet because you never know. <laughs> and almost every time when you do something because you never know, nothing happens. But this time, it was different. This time, it led to an important discovery. <laughs> On the floor behind the toilet, against the wall, I find what can only be described as a half-melted pint of Ben and Jerry's chocolate therapy ice cream. <laughs> ice cream! Ah! Of course, I call my wife and she goes, I'm not cleaning that. And she's right, because it was a guest from my side, so it's my responsibility. <laughs> so I get some gloves and paper towels, and I kneel and lean forward to clean it. And as I get close, I say, <laughs> I start gagging. <laughs> My wife quickly comes back and goes, let me do it, stupid. <laughs> I'd rather clean shit from the floor than shit and vomit from the floor. <laughs> and again, she's right. I can't even stand to see dog poo on the sidewalk, much less some stranger's poop on her bathroom floor. But my wife, she's special. My wife is different. And that can be explained only one way. Two girls, one cup. For those of you lucky enough to have be spent the last 15 years sheltered from the unnecessary harshness of the internet, let me explain what two girls, one cup means. I will. It's a video that went viral before social media was what we know it to be today. You just got it in your email like some PowerPoint from your mom with reasons to believe in the Virgin Mary. The plot of Two Girls, One Cup was simple. Two girls proceeded to eat... Sorry, two girls take a... <laughs> two girls would take a very loose shit in an ice cream cup then both girls proceeded to eat the loose poop from the cup, and then from that, it got even better. They would start throwing up into each other's mouths, and this was supposed to be porn or something? I have no idea. I never made it past the first three seconds when the loose poop starts to come out of the first asshole. Again, even if I see dog poo on the street, I start gagging. This is clearly too much for me. But when I got that video in an email, I saw those first three seconds, I knew what my calling was. I had to send and show that video to as many people as possible. <laughs> and one of those people was my wife. I showed it to her live. She looked at the screen and I stared at her face waiting for the disgust to come in and for me to have the time of my life laughing at her. <laughs> but no, when I showed two, girl one, two Girls One Cup to my wife, she thought through the whole thing and watched it without squinting even once. <laughs> she watched it like you watch a documentary on how chairs are made <laughs> or something. 
when she was done, she even had some questions about it. So the cup is not really that the most important thing. How come it ended up in the name of the video? That didn't mean that she wasn't angry at having to clean some stranger's poop from the bathroom floor. And from the other side of the bathroom door, I could hear her screaming like Hitler giving a hate speech. Hijo de puta, si te agarro te mato! And I have the audacity of just knocking on the door and going, can I help you in any way? <laughs> yeah, stay away from here. And now I'm angry, because I'm being yelled at. So I decide to text my coworker, your brother-in-law took a shit on our bathroom floor. And a couple of minutes later, she replies, it says he doesn't remember. I saw number two again a year later when, by chance, I was being interviewed for a job at the same place where he worked. I didn't get the position. <laughs> Probably because he walked by the door of the office where I was being interviewed and I told the man interviewing me, <laughs> that guy took a shit on our bathroom floor. <laughs> we call him number two, he sucks. After that, my wife and I never threw another New Year's Eve party ever again. We started celebrating on our own, and they have been the best. And I owe it all to number two, because thanks to him, we realized that we just need the two of us. Because our love <laughs> is the shit. All the way down from the City of Angels, that was Frank Trainer.